back, mga pamilya, dito sa NCAA Season 93. Baku ang Cardinals kontra sa Letran Knights. Letran dominates the series ngayon at 47 to 25. At ngayon naman, mga kapamilya, kilalanin natin ang mga tao na sumusuporta sa mga atleta natin. Panoorin natin ang kwentong NCAA ni Norman de los Reyes of the Mapua Cardinals. Taong 1913, nang unang lumipad ang mga kulay ng Mapua University sa NCAA. At dito sa home turf ng Red and Gold, nang galing ang ilan sa mga hardcore heroes na tinitingala ng bawat Mapuan. Dito sa balwarte ng Mapua Cardinals, makikilala natin ang dalawang ehemplo ng tunay na MVPs on and off the court. Sa likod ng mga kupunan ng Mapua, ang karilang masisipag na staff na naninigurado malusog ang bawat atleta. At ang namumuno sa kanilang physical therapy, ang 27-year-old PT na si Julius Magaling. 2013 nang nagsimula ang Emilio Aguinaldo College graduate bilang intern sa Mapua. At mula noon, naging bahagi na siya ng Cardinal family. So nag-start ka sa Mapua 2013. Four years na. Ano ang pinakagusto mo dito sa Mapua community? Mabait yung mga player dito. Minsan makakulit. Talagang makakulit. So, ano, parang bumabata ako dito, parang hindi ko tumatala kasi <laughs> kuya-kuya lang nila ako dito. Pero pag ano, pag nagtiterapi naman kami, ginagawa naman nila yung ginagawa. Ngayong season 80, minalas ang Cardinals sa sunod-sunod na injuries. Ngunit nananatiling bright spot si Julius sa kanyang pag-alaga sa mga players. Yung motivation ko dito, hindi na lang parang ano to, hindi na lang parang trabaho sa akin kung trabaho kong ginagawa. Part of the family na sila sa akin kasi sa tagal ko dito, dito na halos ako lumaki. Ang kanyang happy-go-lucky personality ang siyang nagpahanga sa mga players at mga fans mula sa Mapua community. I think that's the heart and soul of our team because as you see, we're, we're very short-numbered right now. So when, when, we, when we need the help, he, he's always there for us, practices and games. And he gives us his full attention. Si Kwejus ay napaka masayahin. Ano man ang mangyari, meron mang grabing injury ang isang player na gagawa niyang palakasin ito sa kanyang espiritu. Pinapasaya niya at tinutulungan niya ng mabuti. So ganoon ang mapuwan. Kahit ano man ang mangyari, masaya pa rin tayo. Lumalaban hanggang sa huli. Hindi man madali ang kanyang trabaho bilang solo PT ng buong team, patuloy na hinaharap ni Julius ang bawat pangangailangan ng kanyang ikalawang pamilya. Siyempre yung team namin, o mga ta, at saka makakating kami doon sa finals, championship, in coming years, magawa namin. At saka mag, ano pa, umangat pa yung performance namin. Hindi ganun kaganda ngayon, pero in the coming years, alam ko naman tataas yun. Yung pinakapangarap yun, umangat pa sila lahat. Bawat karera ng basketbolista ay nagsisimula sa training. At para sa men's basketball team, hindi kumpleto ang kanilang practice pag wala si Kuya Roel Lopez, ang dakilang ballboy ng Mapua Cardinals. Kwento mo naman sa amin, paano ba nagsimula ang iyong buhay bilang isang ballboy slash utility man? Uh, nagsimula ako 1997 kay Coach Koy Banal. Noon time na yun, tagaabot lang ako ng tubig kasi natulong-tulong lang kahit walang sahod. Si Coach Sito, nakilala ko yun noon time na yun, assistant siya ni Koy Banal. May nag-alok kay Coach na mag-coach sa eskwelahan eh, hindi naman niya sinabi kung ano. Yun, niyaya niya ako, gusto ko ba sum sumama? Sabi ko, si Coach, kahit mababala yung sahod, okay lang ba para matulungan lang kita. Noon time na yun, sinabi na sa akin na mapuwa palang pupuntahan namin. Ano yung mga bagay na natutunan mo throughout the eight years na nandito ka sa Mapua? Natutunan ko na sarili ko naging maging makis makisama sa tao. Natutunan ko makihalubilo sa ibang tao din na kahit na minsan, minsan mo lang makita sila sa, sa buhay mo. Masaya rin dito, lalo nung panahon namin kay Kutsito, sobrang saya. Mula 2009, Nanirahan na si Roel sa school dorm at nagsisilbing tatay sa bawat player na dumaan sa mga silid ng Mapua. Ang utang na loob ko siguro yung pinatira nila ako dito. Ako ang ginawa nilang tatay sa mga player, pangalawang tatay. Tagabantay, taga-alalay. 
Ang kanyang dedikasyon sa pag-alalay sa bawat cardinal maging sa labas ng court ay isang tunay na mapuan quality na ipapasa niya sa bawat estudyante. Nagpapahita ng isang pagiging mapuan sa pagiging hardworking niya, sa pagiging determined niya to help without expecting anything in return. Sa mapuan naman, salamat din dahil sa tagal ng panahon din, tumagal din ako dito. Ayan nyo, ibibigay ko ang best ko, ibibigay ko lahat, tulong ko. Para kay Ruel at Julius Magali, ang pagbibigay serbisyo sa Mapua ang tanging paraan ng magbalik sa tahanan na nagbigay sa kanya ng second home. Ang magkaisa sa karera tungo sa isang kampiyonato. Yan ang taon-taon pangarap ng bawat Mapua Cardinal na binubuo ng bawat membro ng karilang komunidad. Mula sa mga team captains at king cardinals hanggang sa mga heroes behind the scenes tulad ni na Kuya Julius at Kuya Roel, hindi uurong ang Mapua Cardinals sa anumang hamon, sa loob at labas ng court. At alam niyo ba mga kapamilya, karamihan talaga sa mga atleta natin dito ay taga-probinsya. Kaya nga kayo na malaki ng kwento na yun ang mga tumatayong father figure sa kanila at nakakatawa naman dahil sila pa ang mas natutuwa kapag nanalo ang kanilang team. At ngayon, balik tayo sa ating question of the day. Inaantay lang na ni Andre at ni Mix ang sagot nyo over Twitter. Sino ba ang NCAA player na may kalok alike na artista? Sagutin niya yan using the hashtag NCAA Season 93, hashtag NCAA Strong, and for more halftime analysis at mga gandang eksena dito sa hardcore, magbabalik ang NCAA Season 93 on SNA. Tayo po yung nagbabalik sa loob ng Phil Oil Flying V Center. Stood ng San Juan for the halftime break of our third game this Friday. And uh, after two quarters, Letran is up by huge 22-point margin, 47 to 25. Magandang hapon po muli mga kapamilya, Andre Felix, along with Mr. Game Time Mix Bustos. Mix, what a second quarter for Colegio de San Juan de Letran. We did mention at the end of the first quarter, dikit ba? Uh -huh. They were just up by three, 21 to 18. But in the second quarter, it talaga bumulusok na 26 to 7 in that one. Well, too much big stats dito na pinakita ng Letran. Just like taking off from where they left off during the last game. What an offensive outburst dito para sa Letran Knights as we can see the halftime stats. It was a good first quarter for the Mapua Cardinals shooting 8 out of 13 from the field. Pero no second quarter, dun na nagtuloy-tuloy yung woes dito ng Cardinals only making 2 field goals out of 16 attempts para dito sa Cardinals at also Para dito sa second quarter ng Letran, outscoring the Mapua Cardinals 26-7. to 7. So kung baga yung second quarter output ng uh, Letran, mas malaki pa sa total output dito ng uh, Mapua Cardinals and also outrunning the Mapua Cardinals ang Letran Knights with 10 fast break points. Silipin natin ang ating leading scorers at the half. No Mapua Cardinals has entered the double digit in scoring. As for Letran, dalawa, nanguna dyan. Si Stingray, Ray ng Batak. 17 puntos para naman kay Bong Quinto 11 puntos in that second quarter alone ng Batak outscored Mapua by his lonesome 11 to 7 in that second period make some few not few adjustments but in your opinion what does Mapua have to do I know they're shortened here nine men nine men only for coach Ato Iko ano bang kailangan gawin ng Mapua dito well they just have to make those stops especially towards the paint kasi hindi naman masyado na tumitira sa three points dito ang Aletran Knights they just have to be able to guard that interior part of the painted area and for them that is one big step to control Letran's offense Third quarter about to begin. Again, our officials for this afternoon, Mark Garcia, Joel Baldago, Alfi Cruz, Andre Felix alongside Mix Bustos. And we will go back to Mr. Roxanne Montelegra at courtside later on and find out what she has gathered from both coaches and both teams at the half. Nieles will start off the third quarter. Good start. Para sa Mapua, courtesy of that JP Nieles basket. Okay naman yung offense ng Mapua all throughout the season. Pero I think if you combine Mapua's offense, like let's say for... For CSB's defense, they will be a hard team to stop. Quinto. Quinto attacks. Ball secured there by Raf Flores. Ang lima para kay Coach Ato Iko to begin the third. Nieles, Raf Flores, Pelayo, Aguirre, and Victoria. Iniingi ni Nieles. 
thought about taking the three. Pelayo, Graf Flores. Oh, what a jumper there. Inside three-point arc. Graf Flores, good start para dito sa Cardinals mix. Good start just like the first quarter. Sustainability is key for the Cardinals. Kedagra now to Quinto. Quinto. Wanting to go to Balagasay. Oh, nice move by Victoria. And oh, three nice baskets Victoria. already by Mabua to start the third period. And six unanswered points dito para sa Letran. Napilitan si Coach Jeff Napa to send Jeric Balanza to the scorer's table. He'll come in the next dead ball. Ang batak attacks and Letran has really gone cold. Coach Jeff Napa, he has to be careful. He's contesting, sabi niya, parang na-foul si ng batak doon. Nieles! And Letran wasn't able to secure the ball. Mapua, like what you said, six unanswered points. Six to nothing run to start this third period. Hidara goes back to the bench for a taller lineup para sa Letran. Similar to how they started this game. Balanza coming in for Gidaria. Here's Nieles! Four baskets para sa Mapua. They have chipped this 22, once 22 point lead. Now down to 14. Credit that baseline inbound play. Two screens, staggered screens set for JP Nieles. Open jump shot. Letran hasn't converted the field goal to begin the third period. Nambata, the spin, the move by the Stingray. Still, Letran cannot buy a basket, but Nambata will head to the line for two. Sumabit doon si Daniel Aguirre on that trademark move by Ray Nambata. Pagkaikot na doon, nahuli ng konti. Kaya sumabit yung uh, kanyang kamay sa balikat ni Ray Nambata. Siguro kung si oh. ano yun, kung si si, si Di Olivero yung kamay nun, mas mahaba. Siguro nasukal yun. <laughs> <laughs> mahaba yung galamay kasi oh. ni Olivero, no? And that's the first point of Letran, courtesy of that uh, ng Batak free throw here in the third period. Letran still hasn't converted a field goal. Batak six both free throws. Elayo looking for someone to pass to. Pelayo, being hounded by Calvo and Quito. Almost a steal para kay Balanza. Aguirre to Victoria. Oh, nice look by Victoria to Daniel Aguirre. I don't know what Coach Atoyko told the Cardinals inside their dugout, but it seemed to work and motivate his boys to be aggressive here in the third period, mix. Huh? Credit that resiliency by Mapua. Balanza. Balanza converts the first field goal of Letran here in the third period. And that was a matchup problem on the switch. Nung nag-switch nag nag kay Jeric Balanza, si JP Nielis yung naiwang magbantay doon. And clearly, that is a mismatch. Elayo calling the play. Ra Flores up top against Balagasay. Ra Flores looking for some movement from his teammates. Ra Flores wanting to go to Pelayo. Five to shoot. Nasundot ni Balagasay. Three to shoot. Pelayo has to fire. Pelayo does. Here's Nambatak now on the other side. They go down to Bong Quinto. Yeles. Foul given up by Jeric Balanza. In the meantime, balikan natin si Roxanne. If there is somebody beaming with positivity from the Bakuwa Cardinals, that would be no other than JP Nieles. Sabi nga niya, marahil, pinapos sila sa mga nakarakilaban nila. Pero if there's no way to go through it, well, di pili sa nila, there's always a way around it. Kaya nga naman daw, puspus na ang training nila sa endurance. At re-remind -re din niya ang kanyang key na napakagandang opportunity na mabigyan ka ng maraming playing time. Kaya nga, sabi niya, we have to forget our mistakes and move forward. At sabi pa nga ni Coach Ato yung karagdagan dito, we all have to go back to basics. Learn that dapat sa depensa kayo magpo-focus, hindi sa offensa. You have to, of course, lessen your turnovers, challenge the threes, and think big. This is your time to shine, sabi ni Coach Atoy ko. At uh, alam naman natin na si Coach Atoy ko ay isa rin artista. Kaya nga sabi niya sa players niya, this time, kayo na ang bahala. I trust you guys. Andre? Maraming salamat, Roxanne. Coach Atoy does call a timeout. There's JP Nieles parking this Mapua comeback. 
though this, they're still down by 16. Be right back. More beautiful faces inside the Pillow and Flying Key Center. Enjoying the games on this rainy Friday afternoon. We are live on SNA at channel 1661, a high definition channel on SNA it's Sky Cable. And also, we're greeting everybody watching worldwide via TFC.tv. And you can live stream at sportsabs tbncom slash live slash live stream slash NCAA. In the first game, Sanbeda barely won 65 to 60 against JRU. In the second one, it was a good one as well. Panalo Arellano contra sa EAC 84 to 79. Crucial games in the mix, no? As uh, we're in the middle, nearing the playoff, playoffs, nearing the yeah. final four. So the final stretches na to ng second round ng eliminations. Balanza, good move inside. And this game has final four implications, at least for Letran. Because if they get to win this game, they will be tied with JRU at third place. Because all season long, Letran has just been hanging in the balance at fourth, at fifth, and even at sixth. That's right. Yeah. LPU still on top of everybody else with 13 wins, no losses here in season 93. Ram Flores, the jumper, Listamana. And Letran Chepriki Gillian after missing the final four last season. Imagine that turnaround, no? From uh, winning the NCAA title after 10 years. Back in season 91, as JP Calvo trains a triple. And also, hopefully, eh, gumaling na kaagad si J.U. Ambohon. Oh, so, it will legitimize yeah. the batter spot if they make it to the Final Four. J.R. Flores, back-to-back -back baskets para kay Ra Flores. Ocho puntos na. Yung sa East, dun sa Ocho. Dito nang galing sa third quarter para kay Ra Flores. Calvo losing his balance. Not able to convert that layup. This quarter, baliktad ang kwento. 10 perimeter points para sa Cardinals. 3 lang para sa Letran. Ito ang ating Devo perfect shot, perfect selfie. That triple. Trained by JP Calvo. Aratua is back in. He will bring the ball in, bounce from the baseline. Looking to Balanza, but Balanza with an offensive foul. Acknowledges it, apologizes to Coach Jeff Napa. Taladua, like an eyeing Balanza. They wrap on the inbound ball and they do here, Scabo. Being harassed by Balanza of Nieles. Nieles. Off to Rap Flores. Rap Flores has. Has the hot hand, but he misses that time around. Under four minutes remaining. Calvo, another three. In and out for JP Calvo. Victoria attacking Mandreza. Off to Bunyag. Gets hurt, still converts. Bunyag will head to the line for a bonus. And that is our Milo Nutri up, gulling move of the quarter. Good drive by Victoria. And dropping it last second to Christian Bunya. Nambata comes back in along with his uh, 19 points. Also coming in for Letran for the first time is Maui Bernabe. Jeff Napp has three point guards in his rotation. Of course, there's JP Calvo. Tommy Orgadaria and Maui Bernabe. Well, perhaps Coach Jeff Napa wants to match the speed and the quickness of Mapua. Kaya tatong guardia penasok na dito. Taladua, nice move! Jeremiah Taladua, count the basket plus the foul. Talats will head to the line for a bonus. A great find by Rey Nambatak with that handoff. The help defense failing to get there on time is Christian Bunyan that was open lane with that reverse by Jeremiah Taladua. 
Padua used to play for the LPU Pirates. Had to sit out one year for residency purposes last year. He's happy to be with Letran. Ikang ni Mikey Reyes, tumawid lang. Nasa intramuros lang ang LPU. Nangapit bahay lang. Victoria, pinili at ang tira. Bagsak siya sa sahig. Quinto, ahead to Taladua. But the yellow shirts already set up their defense. Here's Talads. Looking to Nambatak. Nambatak, trap, kicking out to Taladua. Now Quinto has it with 10 to shoot. Quinto, goes close. The jumper, pull up, wala. Gabo. Gabo attacking the interior defense of the Knights. Gets fouled. Will head to the line for two, and the foul will be called on Maui Bernabe. If Napa wants to talk things over with 2.32 remaining, they're still up here, 59 to 41. And we see. Of course, the beautiful wife of Coach Adoiko, along with his son, Andre Ko, and the Sarah Hernandez, girlfriend of Andre. Wife, wife na. Wife, wife na pala. Sorry, oh. akala ko. Wife na. <laughs> Kakakasal lang niya. Sana hindi nila mapanood ito, magagalit sa akin yung dalawang yan. Kakakasal, congratulations, ha? Kay Sarah and kay Andre. Kinasal na? Kinasal na. Hindi ko alam, di ako invited. <laughs> Kasal na pala. I think nung May yata. Congratulations, congratulations. Kasi Sarah, kababata ako yan. Ato ka? Oo, kasi yung pinsan na best friend ko. Mga chikiting kami. Okay, okay. He saw us growing up. Ate, ha? Oo, ate, ate. Ate tawag ko dyan. Chikiting pa rin at heart. Sarah naman, I remember her from joining the Mixed VJ Search a lot of years back. That was after the year I was there, and I remember she was in the same batch as Robbie Domingo, Ino Luipio, Bianca Roque. I remember that group. DJ Dre Bass. Yes. Ang kailan lang, no? Gabo on the run. Challenged by Taladua. Good defense from Taladua. Honest defense from Jeremiah Taladua. You know, if there's one thing you want to really credit this man, Taladua, it's his defense. Laki ng katawan eh. Hirap lampasan. Strong body. Laki ng katawan and he plays the three position. That's right. He may look heavy, but he's quick. Yes. In this era, Flores. Taladua gets it back. Ahead to Quinto. Quinto, an easy layup. It's very unselfish on the part of Jeremiah Taladua. The momentum was going his way, but saw an advancing Bong Quinto. Daryl Pascual, pinasa for the first time ni Coach uh, Jeff Napa for Letran. Estrellas back on a hard court for Mapua. Inside, through deep, but Bunyag was able to get that one. Bunyag with nine points. Nambata using that Quinto screen. Victoria ahead to Gabo. Gabo was uh, looking. Behind, inahabul siya kanina ng Taladua. Gabo now with eight points off the bench. First half, Papua just scored 25. Here in this quarter alone, they've scored 22. So way better showing para sa Papua. But Bonquito hits the shot, gets fouled in the process. Will head to the line for a possible three-point play. Not the really versatility of Bong Quinto, posting up his man. With that spin move, parang bineto na lang yun eh, kasi alam niyang natawagan ng foul. And may disweret yun, bonus. That's why he got that shot in. Kasi tungo si Bong Quinto, kira pantayan as Balanza comes back in for Taladua and Taladua gets that high five from his head coach Jeff Napa. Yung know, kira pantayan ni Quinto eh, pwede kang postehan, pwede kang daanan mula sa labas. Itirahan ka rin. Oh, yung mga malilit na guards, popostihan niya. Yung mga malalaking bantay naman, iiwanan niya. May pull up din siya. Gabo, off to Australia. Ahead to Nieles. Nieles against Bernabe. Ilalabas muna ni Nieles kay Australia. Australia had to run after the ball. Oh, tiptoeing with one foot. Australia attacks, gets fouled. What a play from... Andoy Australia, inihingin ng double dribble ni Jeric Balanza. 
Tingnan natin dito, ah. Oh. But the referee cleans and yes. not yung bola. No, but he may have gotten away with a double dribble there. Uh -huh. He was dribbling with one hand, and then he held it with two hands. But then before he held it, parang natapik daw yata. So parang kaya hindi siya natawagan. That's why at first glance, Dre, it looked weird eh. Parang may mali. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, baka lang napansin ni referee Mark Garcia, Joel Baldaga, at Alfie Cruz. Well, right now, Bong Quinto already with 16 points, surpassing his average of 13 a game. Ginanahan ang mapuha dito sa third quarter. After just scoring 23 points in that first half, nice move by Australia. Pertinga na convert. Oh, almost not quite. Para kay Bunyag, batutungo siya sa linya for two. Foul called on Daryl Pascual. First personal on Daryl Pascual. Bubunot na naman si Coach Jeff Napa. He will insert for the first time. Christian Pamulaklakin. Taxi Daryl Pascual will get a few words from the coaching staff. There is Jeff Napa on his second year at the helm. Sabaleo de San Juan de Letran. He's also won championships the juniors program, National University. Credit also Jeff Napa for doing a decent job. Uh, it's not it's not easy replacing a champion coach in Alden Ayo after that fairy tale season back in season 91. That's Nambata converts inside. Credit also to the, the, the coaching group of Letran despite a lot of criticism. A lot of changes. A lot of changes. Nambata with 21 markers already to his name. What a strong start para sa Mapua mix in that third period. It was a 25 to 19 in favor of the Cardinals. Kaya na ibaba nila ang kalamangan dito. In the first half, they just scored 25. But here, in the third period alone, also scored 25. Still down by 16 points. Ang huli at pang-apat na quarter sa aming pagbabalik. Ito po ang inyong NCAA on SNA.